final segment for today before we go to Super Chat questions. And that has to do with my favorite president, uh, my favorite former president now, um, who, who, the, the loser uh, in chief, uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> so Donald Trump uh, and Bill O'Reilly, another one of my favorite human beings on the planet who banned me from his show in 2003. Uh, so Bill O'Reilly and Donald Trump are doing these live events. I hear they're not even sold out. But anyway, they did a live event last week. And during the live event, like Bill O'Reilly is like, I'm vac I, I got vaccine and, and I got the vaccine. And Donald Trump said, I did too. And they get booed in the audience. And then Donald Trump said, and I got the booster. And then there's real boos in the audience. And people really freak out over that. And, um, and then, uh, you know, a few days later, Donald Trump goes on uh, Candace Owens' show. Candace Owens, right? The, the, the person who um, many people told me was like the future, the great future of the, of, uh, of the right. Anyway, he's on Candace Owens' show, and, and, um, and uh, Candace is, is challenging vaccines. She's an anti-vaxxer when it comes to COVID vaccines. She's worse than anti-vaxxer. She's a hater, a hater of, of uh, Big Pharma. Anyway, in an interview with Candace Owen, uh, he says, Trump says, um, quote, I came up with a vaccine, with three vaccines. All are very, very good. Came up with three of them in less than a month. It was supposed to take five to 12 years. So Owen cuts in and she says, and yet more people have died under COVID-19 this year, by the way, under Joe Biden, than under you, and more people took the vaccine this year, so people are questioning how, and he cuts her off, and he said, oh no, the vaccines work. Right? Finally, I agree with Donald Trump on something. Uh, but some people aren't taking them. The ones that get very sick and go to the hospitals are the ones who don't take the vaccine. And then he continues, but it's their choice, still their choice. And if you take the vaccine, you're protected. Look, the results of the vaccine are very, very good. And if you get it, it's a very minor, it's a very minor form, I guess he means in terms of the risk. People aren't dying when they take the vaccine, he says. <laughs> I agree with Donald Trump. Scary idea. But many, many people on the right do not agree. The right flipped out. Flipped out. Stop the steel organizer. Ali Alexander wrote, remember what Trump said? You would be playing right into Democrats' hands by mocking the rushed, ineffective shot? Yeah, Joe Biden praised him and his booster shot. Trump, stop. Just stop. Have your position backed by Fauci and allow us to have ours, which is backed by science, by the way. This losing is getting boomer level annoying. Yeah, he's losing. This is when the guy who organized Stop the Steal. Maybe he's coming to the realization that Trump is indeed a loser. Conservative, conservative cartoonist Ben Garrison, who has been a strong supporter of Trump, caused some surprise by releasing a new cartoon criticizing the president, former president for his position on vaccines. It depicted Trump on a vaccine bandwagon while people wearing red Mag, uh, Make America Great Again hats booed him. And of course, the defining voice today of the right, Alex Jones, just flipped out, just flipped out. Right? He says, this is an emergency Christmas Day warning to President Trump. You're either completely ignorant about the so-called vaccine gene therapy that you helped ram through with Operation Warp Speed, or you're one of the most evil men that has ever lived. You're one of the most evil men who has ever lived. I, I mean, I for one think it's the second, but. <laughs> what you said, Jones goes on to say, what you told Candace Owen is nothing but a raft of dirty lies. Candace Owen, of course, later on went on to say, I have no issue with any person who wants to get the vaccine, Owens wrote. I just will never, ever 
let that vaccine into my body. I believe firmly that Big Pharma is, listen to this, I believe firmly, firmly, that Big Pharma is the greatest evil on the face of the planet. I am healthy, young, in shape, and simply unafraid of COVID-19. Good for her. The greatest evil, greatest evil on the face of the planet is Big Pharma. This is Candace Owen. This is the woman many, many people out there considered the rising voice of the Republican Party of the right. She was this brilliant black female who was going to shake things up. Now she, from the right, declaring Big Pharma, an industry responsible for life extend, extending life, curing diseases, improving quality of life for millions, hundreds of millions, billions of people around the world. They, this, these companies who do this, they are the greatest evil on the face of the planet. And you wonder why I get so angry with the right. Because they are supposed to be better than this. I'd expect that from Elizabeth Warren. I'd expect that from OEC. I'd expect that from Bernie Sanders. But this is now from Candace Owen, from the right. <sighs> All right. Now, just to give you a flavor of Trump. <laughs> so uh, Biden went, uh, Biden's press secretary and Biden thanked Trump for advocating for the vaccine, uh, thanked him for doing warp speed, uh, you know, uh, gave him credit, gave him credit for producing the vaccines, right? He said, uh, you know, he said, uh, uh, this is from Biden, thanks to the prior administration and our scientific community, America is one of the first countries to get the vaccine. Of course, he doesn't mention the pharma companies, God forbid, just the scientific community, right? So then Trump is interviewed the same day that Biden has said this. <laughs> He's such a narcissist. It, it, it's funny because what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do, right? He says, Trump says, that he was both surprised and appreciative of Biden's acknowledgement. And he said, quote, it's a little tough to be overcritical now of Biden because he just thanked us for the vaccine and thanked me for what I did. You know, that's a first. It's, it's very tough for me to be overly critical of Biden now. <laughs> he continued to say, uh, you know, that Biden's remarks were a terrific thing. Uh, they make a lot of people happy. I think he did something very good. You know, it has to be a process of healing in this country. And that will help a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen, the narcissist of unimaginable, <laughs> unimaginable to that, that somebody like that could occupy, have occupied the White House. Um, this is the man who you want to be president again. Um, you know, he loves Biden now. Why? Because Biden complimented him. He, he loved everybody in his administration when they were nice to him, when they said nice things about him. He hated them when they criticized him, when they opposed his policies, when they challenged him. That's exactly the opposite mindset that you should have as president of the United States. You should want people to challenge you. You should want people to question you. God help us. If there was a God, we should all be praying daily that Donald Trump is not the Republican nominee in 2024. Anybody almost, but Trump. <sighs> yeah, at this point, I'll take DeSantis. I, I'm not excited about DeSantis. I don't like DeSantis, but I'll take DeSantis over Trump. Absolutely.
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.